Hi everyone, and welcome to today's special Halloween edition of Cooking with Celebrate. Today we will be making avocado zombie bars. Come join me. For the bottom layer, you will need one cup pitted dates, one half cup raw almonds, four tablespoons cocoa powder, two tablespoons coconut oil. For the top layer, you will need two to three medium avocados, four tablespoons of guave nectar, one tablespoon coconut oil. So we will begin by combining all of our ingredients to make the bottom layer of our bars. All you need is a food processor for this simple, quick recipe. So first we'll pour in our dates. We will add our almonds our cocoa powder, and our coconut oil. Perfect. So I like to use speed seven. It's not too, too slow, but it's not too fast. Sometimes when you put crank the speed up too fast, all your ingredients can really fly. So when you're mixing it, you're looking for a consistency of like fine like sand on the beach or dirt outside. So you don't want it to be too, too smooth. You want a little bit of texture, but you want to really make sure that those almonds are getting ground down. Now I'm going to fight to get the lid off. Get me my food. So you see it's a beautiful, finely ground consistency. You can see the piece of almonds in it, but they're not hard chunks. And then you can see the difference, that nice, beautiful brown richness that the cocoa powder adds to it. But then you have some of that smoothiness from the coconut oil. So we'll take all of our bottom layer ingredients that are ground up and we'll place them into our cooking dish. So we'll pour it in like such, and then you wanna Smooth it, press it into the bottom, almost like if you were making like a cheesecake, if you ever made one of those with a family member, you kind of push that crust on the bottom. So once you smooth everything out onto the bottom, we're gonna take this dish and put it in the freezer and we're gonna let it start to freeze and harden while we make our top layer. So to create our top layer of the bars, we're going to combine our avocados. So our avocados are great produce. It's high in those good, healthy, anti-inflammatory fats that are good for us. And the color just provides a great contrast to that brown bottom layer to make these zombie bars. We'll add our coconut oil and our guave nectar. So then we'll mix all of this on the same speed and we'll pour it on top of our bottom layer. So you see you get this nice smoothy green mixture here and we will just add that right on top of our bottom layer. And then we'll just spread it just like we did the bottom layer all on the top. Now depending on how thick you like the bars will determine the size pan you use. You can use an eight by eight, they might be a little bit thinner. This is an eight by six. And I like, I think it's perfect, so I'll have a nice thick green upper layer, but a nice thickness to that bottom layer. You can top these with whatever type of treat or topping that you like. You could drizzle some peanut butter, you could do some mini dark chocolate cacao nibs on top, some shaved coconut, you could do some honey or guave nectar on top, or even just some almonds. So whatever really you would like to decorate the top with, you can do that and then we'll put it in the freezer overnight. You'll take it out and then we'll be ready to cut it tomorrow. So I dressed them with just some shredded coconut that I sprinkled on top. I cut them, I plated them, and they're so easy to make. The consistency is perfect and beautiful. I hope you enjoyed making this recipe with me. It's sweet, simple, easy, and healthy alternative for you to have at your Halloween party. Let me know in the comments what you use to dress the top of your bars and I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween.